Hey guys, this is Sammy from TechBrew.com, and today I'll be reviewing the Mac Alley Metro case for the iPod Nano 3rd generation. Here it is. Now you're probably wondering why I have it upside down. Um, before I get into that, let me go ahead and show you more of this case. This is a leather case. It's got a belt clip or belt loop on the back. These little snaps actually up here allow you to clamp it on to anything you want, or you can use the included little carabiner and it actually just goes right on through through there. Let me go ahead and thread this on real quick so you can see what that looks like. And there we go. And this thing swivels. It's got a nice strong clip. It's a really nice looking uh, darker darker metal color, which I like. And yeah, this is this is the case right here. Um, this also comes with a armband, which is pretty nice, as well as I can get it out. A screen protector, a little plastic screen protector. These are one of those uh, screen protectors that uses uh, like a high static cling to stick to the to the to the screen. I'll show you the box. That's what it comes in. It's a leather holster for the iPod Nano. And I don't know if you can see that stitching really well, but that is a lime green. And to be perfectly honest, this is one of the nicer color combinations I've seen for. Um, iPod cases, and it's actually nice and subtle too, which I which I like. So yeah, this case retails for twenty nine ninety nine. You can get it from MacAlley.com. Um, so on to my actual feelings about this case. Typically, I don't like these holster cases for my iPods, but this one is quite possibly the best one out there in my opinion. I'd easily give. I'm going to go straight to the score. Um, I'm giving this one a nine out of ten, a solid nine out of ten. Now, like I've said in the past, no product ever gets a 10 out of 10 because, well, they could be cheaper, they could be free, they could come with um, another case just like it. I don't know. You know, there's, there's always room for improvement. But in my opinion, this is as close to perfection as it gets. Uh, with that being said, there are two small, tiny little drawbacks about this case. Drawback number one, this is a very, very secure case. What that means is... I can shake this all day long and force it, and this iPod is not coming out. The downside of that is taking it out of the case is a bit difficult. But, back to the upside, you really don't need to take it out of this case because you can use it with just about any iPod speaker out there that has a dock easily by sliding it out of the case just a little bit. Now that's kind of why I have it upside down. Let me go ahead and take this out of here real quick. Uh, before I do that, actually, let me show you another reason why it's better to hold it upside down than it is to keep it right side up. If, you, if you're using the belt clip like what I was doing, trying to manipulate the music while it's on your belt clip is kind of difficult when you're seeing it upside down, basically. So if I'm looking at it like, I don't know how I can put it, but um, when I have it hanging like this, I can just easily pick it up and see my music and manipulate without any problem. If I have it the other way around, I'd have to pretty much take it off my belt, uh, belt loop, every time I wanted to change the track or something. Otherwise, I'd be looking at everything upside down and navigating upside down. So that's my suggestion to you if you buy this case, I hope you do, is to use it or put your iPod in the upside down. So that's number one. Downside number two, this belt loop right back here really only fits the armband. Um, it wouldn't fit my belt very easily. I'd ha I had to put it in there and it was kind of a, a struggle to put it in, but um, that could change with time as, as it stretches, the leather stretches. So those are really the only two, um, two issues I have with this case. Now, going back to what I was saying, if you have an iPod speaker that's got a built-in iPod dock, you can easily use it with this just by sliding it out just a little bit. Um, I'll show you. If I just take it, and again, it's a really, really tight tight fit, so it is going to take a little bit of uh, force, but if I slide it out just a little bit, now I've got full access to the bottom where I can easily dock it in just about any um, iPod speaker dock out there. It's going to work just fine. Now, obviously it's not going to work in those speaker docks that are resting right up against it, but with these iPod Nanos, because they are so thin, even with this on there, it should be thinner than the iPod Classic 160 gig, which um, a lot of the iPod docks out there will accommodate. So your mileage will vary, um, but what I was able to do with my, uh, with my JBL dock it worked just fine. So with that being said, again, this is a wonderful case, um, $29.99 from MacAlley.com, 9 out of 10 
Stay tuned, I got plenty more Mac Alley products to review. Again, for all the information on this product and every product that I review, please go to my website, techbrew.com. And um, that's T-E-K-B-R-U.com. You can always send me an email with any questions or comments or anything you'd like to see on the site at Sammy, S-A-M-M-Y, at techbrew.com. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you later.